I wanted to ask you how you're using AI in your practice and where you see AI going in the medical field. AI is moving so rapidly now that there's really no chance that you as a patient won't be AI enabled when you come see a doctor next year and the doctor won't be AI enabled. And let me explain that. So when you're sitting there telling your doctor about your symptoms, your medical history, why should you have to remember it? You can have your Siri-like agent, your voice agent, reminding you of, oh, you know, remember that you're allergic to this drug or that you had that surgery or you had this complication. So that when you're telling the doctor your story, your own personal AI agent will be reminding you of the things you forgot to say. That's number one. Number two, the doctor will be listening to you, not only with their knowledge, but the world's knowledge in their pocket. Their AI agent will know all of the potential diagnoses that you're telling them about and remind that doctor of something that they might have forgotten or a differential diagnosis or a contraindication of using one drug or another or one therapy or another. So your doctor will be enabled in ways that they've never been enabled before. Today, what we're using AI in the office for is to listen to the patient, record the information, and help produce the notes that we all need in order to convey the patient's history. But that's changing very rapidly. I had a Dr. Frank Naomi read on, um, on our show, who Susan, your wife, has met. And he was telling me that what's coming down the pipe is you go, when you go to the doctor and the doctor gives you a prescription, you take it home, maybe you fill it, maybe you don't, uh, maybe you take it for a few days and maybe you stop. But the doctor never knows that. So now right. the AI agents will follow up with you. Did you take it? For how long? What were the reactions? And all of this is recorded. And so when you go back, maybe in a year or whenever it is to your doctor, he knows exactly not to give you that again or how to adjust it, et cetera, et cetera. It's just extraordinary what's coming down the pipeline, isn't it? It's another way of using AI. You know, all of our images now, our x-rays, our MRIs, are being read by our radiologists they're being read by us as well, but they're also being sent out for an automated read by AI and powered uh, automatic reading agents. So you're getting the power of AI looking at your diagnostic information in addition to your physicians already today. So it's a fantastic world and it's going to get better and better.